Now it turns out that uh, because we can sense sound with our ears, we can in fact tell the difference between different frequencies of sound. And these manifest as different pitches. So high pitches, for example, have higher frequencies than low pitches. So a high pitch has, more, has a much higher frequency than a low pitch. And it turns out that the difference between these two frequencies is about a factor of two. So musical notes with a fixed pitch also have a fixed frequency. That means that if you play a long open note on a violin or sing a long sustained note, la, then that note will have the same frequency. The frequency of a note that's not changing will not change. In terms of frequency, compare the music produced by a flute to that produced by a tuba. Assuming that we have a cursory knowledge of musical instruments, we know that flutes tend to produce quite high notes, whereas tubas produce very low notes. How will that change the frequency? Well, if we have very high notes and very high pitches, that means we have high frequency. And if we have very low notes and very low pitches, that means that we have very low frequency. So what's our answer? Well, the flute produces music with a much higher pitch than music produced by a tuba, which means that uh, the flute, which has a higher pitch, also have a higher frequency than the tuba, which has a lower pitch and a lower frequency.